It's pretty good to be Kareem Walker. The six foot one inch, 205 pounder at DePaul Catholic in Wayne, New Jersey, is the nation's top running back. Last January, when Ohio State was winning the national championship, Walker made his college decision official after thinking about it for some time. He went to Twitter to announce his commitment to the Buckeyes at halftime of the national title game. So ever since I visited Ohio State, my junior year during the, the recruiting process, I remember telling my coach before we even got out the field, like, Coach Mary, I want to come here. So, you know, it wasn't just like, by the end of the national championship, and I, and I just wanted to be a part of that. You know, I always wanted to go to them. While it's great being a five-star recruit who's committed to the national champions, that doesn't mean Kareem's life has been easy. He grew up with his mother in Irvington, New Jersey. High crime and bad influences on the streets made their neighborhood a tough place to live, but Kareem's mother and grandmother kept him on the right path. It was a rough neighborhood, you know, especially the, 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 the block that I grew up on. You know, a lot of, a lot of negative things going on in the neighborhood. But for the most part, I always hung out with the guys that played football. I actually quit football two years in a row. Then the third year, my mom wouldn't let me quit. So she kind of made me go. I was determined to keep him on the right move. I kept him into different activities so that he didn't have to be out there entwined in him, um, what was going on. But when we met, that it was right in front of our house, so he had to see it. But all the coaches always said he was so good and he had potential. My thing was, you're going to do something. You like football, stay in football. As long as Cream was involved with football, staying out of trouble wasn't too difficult. Thankfully for his mom and grandmother, Cream rarely had to be pushed to do the right thing. Kareem, he was never, he was never the type of child that liked to go out and, um, you know, like go out, stay on the street, stay on the street corner, everything. He always was a homebody. So it wasn't really a challenge. You know, we, I just talked to him and told him, you know, don't get involved with this person, don't get involved with that person, you know. Even with Kareem's good attitude, his mom and grandmother were still uneasy about him spending every night in their neighborhood. That's where James and Kristen Riley entered the picture. After a conversation with one of Kareem's coaches, the Rileys learned they had a chance to help someone less fortunate. Coach Murray's wife was over and we were discussing uh, school for our boys. And I asked them what they were doing for their vacation and she told me that they were going away and that they were taking uh, Kareem to see a couple schools. So I asked her who Kareem was and this whole world evolved in front of me um, about Kareem and his mom and his grandmother and um, what they're trying to do uh, to keep him on the straight and narrow and to ensure his success. I said to my husband, would you mind if uh, I brought home a 16-year-old to live with us during the year to help out his family? We've always wanted to have that opportunity. We always thought it would be perhaps with a five or six-year-old and not with a full-grown 16-year-old. Um, but uh, when the opportunity presented itself, we knew it was the right thing to do. For the past year, Kareem has spent many nights during the school week with the Rileys, and the arrangement has worked out well. Wayne is not only a safer area, but Kareem also has a shorter commute, so he's able to spend more time on football and schoolwork. They do a lot because it gets to keep him from up in Irvington. We still live in Irvington. We live two blocks away from the block he grew up on. I still don't like him in the area. And I think it's a good opportunity for him to be able to focus on um, his education, take his academics seriously, and while still, you know, work out, while still be part of the team. Um, and do everything that he needs to do both on and off the field. It's a great thing to have you know, so much support behind me because I know they all on the same page as far as like taking care of me, you know, wanting the best for me. With a great support system in place, Kareem continues to thrive on the football field. He has that special combination of elite speed and brute strength. He can do everything. He can, uh, he can run you over, he can run around you. He goes a distance, and probably his best attribute is he's a tremendous pass blocker. If you watch his highlight tape, you'll see a lot of yards and a lot of touchdowns. But what you won't see is a lot of celebrating. Now, I'm not really a big celebrator. You know, I feel like if you get 10 yards, you get a touchdown. That's what you practice for. That's what you get. So it's not really celebration unless it's the game winning touchdown. You know, then that's then that's big to me. You know, all touchdowns are exciting. You know, but I try to stay humble through the game. You know, to, to keep the guys, the younger guys, you know, that I look up to me. You know, to keep them humble, don't get them too excited because they see me get excited, then they get excited. Yes, it's good to be Kareem Walker, and not just because he's a good football player. It's because he has the drive, the humility, and the support to go as far as he wants to. Where I'm coming from, you know, a lot of kids don't make it out. You know, it feels good because it's like you come from nothing and you work hard to make yourself something. 
First time he got a football, he played the football. He came home and he said, Mommy, when I get older, I'm going to play professional football. I'm going to get a lot of money and you ain't never going to work a day in your life. And he tends to text me every now and then again and say, Ma, I'm working hard and I'm, uh, you know, I'm working hard and, you know, trying to stay on track. And he's, he's had, he has done good. He go as far as he wants. He keeps continuing and getting better every single year like he's done since his freshman year here. He's going to be playing on Sundays.